Joel Hawthorne, a trading advantage, joins you now with a taste of Twitter. Good to have you on the show, Joel. Thanks for having me, Angie. So we are ahead of Twitter earnings today, and what do you see with this stock? What do you think is going on here? You know, I think that right now Twitter's trading in range bound. Uh, right around 1723 to about 1774. Mm -hmm. I've seen this seven. I've seen this level kind of get tested quite a few times here in the past couple of weeks. Uh, but I do believe Twitter is poisoning itself and building itself to kind of pop to the upside. You do. Okay. Yes. How far up do you think this stock will go? I think if we can break above 18, I really see this stock breaking. Believe it or not, up to right around 24 dollars. That's a big move. That is. That is. What makes you think that could happen? Because a lot of people, as you know, talk very negative about Twitter. I happen to be a user. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. But when you hear people talk about the stock, they always go, oh, you know, there's problems at the company, yeah. this, that, and the other. Here's my thoughts on Twitter. I really believe Twitter is really trying hard to find a way to, to monetize their instantaneous information. Uh, everybody that I know, all the other traders and around here, we all look at Twitter for We're instantaneous Twitter. news. Uh, absolutely. And we look at Twitter to say, hey, what's happening right now? Believe it or not, you can watch all the other media outlets. Mm -hmm. Twitter will give you the news fastest than any other media outlet Th out there. That is the truth. That yeah. is the truth. I know that. So I do agree with you. So what would be a trader play? And would you put on a play ahead of earnings or would you go longer term? Uh, I'm not necessarily interested in putting on a play ahead of earnings because earnings can be so so unpredictable. Uh, but I am interested in looking at a longer term play out to about September. Uh, I think the call spread out there. I'm looking at the September 16th expiration with the 23 strikes. Now you actually think that Twitter could mimic some of the other hot stocks that we've had in this market, correct? I do, I really like Green do. Green Mountain. Green Mountain. Uh, for those of you who probably aren't, aren't aware, Green Mountain was bought out by a company called Jap Holdings uh, back around December 5th. Um, this stock was trading right around $51 and change on a Friday at the close. By Monday at the open, just two days over the weekend, this stock closed and was bought out uh, at $91 and $90 wow. and change. big move. Yeah, big move, big move. And I think Twitter, if they find a way to kind of monetize that instantaneous data, that information could be poised for another setup like that. Well, no guarantee, but you never know. So thanks, you never know. thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Angie.